Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello again Virgo. So today we're talking again about money and career. So I have a 10 card spread which I'm going to lay but first let's chat about the strategy here for the reading and I hope you are all doing great guys. Um, I do private readings so I put that in the description box and something should pop up with that and also the description of the spread is in the description box. It is very, very important, Virgo, that we pay attention to the card spread. In my view, guys, more important than the reader and the cards. Because once you know what I'm doing, once you know the strategy to try and come up with a prediction or to help you answer a question, you can do it for yourself. And this is one of my goals, spread the knowledge. So let's demystify. But since we're talking about money and career, and because of the question, the title of the video, I have five pointers that I want to discuss first, and they won't be too long of a blabber, but bear with me. If you're interested in the subject of this video, we should chat about those five points, okay? So, point number one, okay, we're talking about a role change. Should I change roles now? Should I go in a new direction now? Or do I benefit from uh, sticking around for a bit more, gaining more clarity? Pointer number one, okay, Virgo, do you understand and do you and are you aware of the underlying currents in your organization currently as if to say are you maybe thinking it's shrinking when really they're expanding and there's going to be growth uh, potential there is it the other way around so that's important as you consider this decision second is do you have someone who cares for you who you are connected with in management upper management i'm talking about someone who can affect change we're speaking to Virgo now okay someone who can give you insight consider that third point is are you have you fully fully marketed sold and merchandised your skill set to those who count not just on the resume have you fully relayed the message of what you Virgo is capable of in terms of skill sets question yourself on that now Point number four is really important. If you have already a role in mind or a place to go to in mind, have you fully considered the implications of this role change? Sometimes we see things on paper. I'll give you a quick example. Is the commute, if there is a change in that structure, is that going to be something that you can cope with long term? Um, other implications around the family, maybe the team that you are about to join. We want to make sure that you've really considered if you are the best fit for you. Of course for them, but for you. Does this work for you? Last but not least, guys, a very, very simple question that really gets you to check in on your current plan before we turn the cards. And this is, would you suggest your current plan to your son and daughter or to someone you care for? It gets you thinking a little bit. Now, to our 10 card spread, uh, 10 positions, first two are about the question, which I am suggesting, okay? Should I go for the role change or not, or wait for more clarity? Position three, talking about what you're currently doing to achieve an immediate result. The immediate result we'll talk about pops up in position four. Position five is about an asset available to you. Something that we need to probe about, okay? We all have assets that we sometimes neglect. Position six is about an opportunity, a way to generate an opportunity. Position seven gets you to look again at the situation. Okay, how are we doing? Uh, but what we're doing immediately and you know what, to what immediate result? Position eight talks about timing. In a personal reading, I'm happy to develop it further and hone in on a time, especially when we get numbers and things like that. But generally speaking, we'll keep it to prerequisites to moving forward upon that idea. Position nine is truly looking back at the purpose. Why is it all happening? Not uh, tarot cards, tell me why is it all happening? No, it's what's your purpose? Again, a reminder, um, position 10 talks about possibilities, okay? So let's turn. So the first, okay, so we have position one, an ace of cups, and then position two, we have a nine of pentacles, okay? You want to complete something, Virgo, and that something is a material thought about a new beginning. What you are presently doing is you're gathering all the information. Here comes the King of Cups. Kings are about knowledge, okay? In order to achieve the, I like it, the Empress, a status and uh, creativity in terms of finding solutions with money. It looks like money is on our mind. We want a new beginning to generate revenue. That's that ace. 
Uh, the thought is also about attainment. Okay, so the nine is about attainment. Attainment of what? Of pentacles. What are we currently doing? We're being that king of cups who is not just acting. Gathering facts. Why are they gathering facts? Because they're going to put together the perfect plan. Okay? Alrighty. And then we're trying to achieve this grounded empress uh, mindset and status, if you will. So there's a bit of the status there, but there's also the mindset which is a manifesting mindset, really. The Empress, I mean, we can develop it in different ways, but ground it. We're talking about the energy of creation, okay? An asset in position five appears to be the two of wands, as if to say, you have generated choices. You have choices available to you. How is that, Virgo? The choices available to you about that move are the asset. An opportunity pops up in position six with the knight of cups okay so what the king is doing telling me something here you're going to when you find that information when you find out more about that new move you are about to make you're able to successfully initiate that action choices are an asset available to you so i don't know what you did in order to have choices as an asset but that's what that means and at the same time um they're inspired choices so maybe something we can talk about with this asset is when you are making choices based on what truly excites you this is the uh shall we say core competency that you can tap into okay so two of wands as if to say excitement need to be part of you making the choice all right let's look at position seven and see about the whole situation again okay and we have the wheel of fortune so it's as if to say you virgo appear to look at the current situation and see um, evolving, um, unsettled yet, and you're looking at how best can I find a new path to attain more, knowing that there is volatility, knowing that there is turbulence. And that's why I really, really like what you appear to be doing in position three, which is not a knight, it's a king. We're looking for information in order to, when the opportunity comes, to support and act on it. I love it. Position eight about timing. Let's see what we have. We have five of cups. So right next to it here, how you see the situation, it's evolving. It's all over the place in a way. Uh, the timing is things are still in a bit of a flow. That's a five of cups. So I'm not going to say in five months or in five this or that, but I'm going to say the timing shows um, you're still in fact gathering based on what I see here, guys. And if it doesn't resonate, that's fine. But based on what I see here, we're still in fact gathering mode, okay? That five of cups says changes are happening, situation is still fluid, await for other signs. But your number one sign is really the knowledge that you need to obtain for this night to jump on the opportunity. As if to say, open your eyes and ears, continue to plan more, uh, continue to understand more about that move you're thinking of, and the choice that you make is an inspired one. When it is an inspired one, that night has success ahead. Okay, position number nine, looking back at purpose. And the purpose is the Pope, or because I'm reading Terror of Marseille, you can say the Hierophant. Okay, so wisdom, guys, gaining wisdom, being grounded. Um, again, creativity, but really um, being established. Uh, that's at the hierarchy, top hierarchy of what they do, the Hierophant, the Pope. But also, one of their key features is really that wisdom. It's really the understanding intuitively as well of the uh, situation. So there's also an element there of work-life balance involved there. I see that with the Pope, with the Hierophant. Now, let's see what position 10 says to us. Position 10 talks about your possibilities. And I hope you can see it, but that's the world. As if to say that perfect harmony that the energy of the Hierophant is working on, understanding that they're managing changes, understanding that the position is evolving, situation is evolving around them, uh, possibilities for that night when they take action, when they take action based on an inspired choice that was based on, you know what, creativity, based on knowledge, success is looking ahead to you guys. Alrighty, I know the reading style is different. I know I'm reading a little bit more faster and I know I'm more focusing on the card spread. But think about it. You get your own tarot deck 
and throw the cards in those positions, okay? And see what you can come up with. Next time, you'll spark your own idea, guys. And with that being said, Virgo, I hope you guys liked today's reading. Would love it if you would comment and subscribe. Virgo, you are so amazing. And I want you to know we do love you madly. Bye for now, guys.